interwebs, I'm Eric and welcome to the Looney Turtle. Way back in February, I made a video discussing the image that we saw at the end of Weird Mageddon Part 3, as well as decoding the quote that we can see on the bus seat. After using the veneer cipher, we ended up with the phrase, Hidden deep in the woods of Oregon, a buried treasure awaits. Secrets lost and statues found beyond the rusty gates. In the end, I posed the idea that it could either be here or here, so start searching. Then, after three months without finding or hearing about its whereabouts, I posted another video proposing that there wasn't a statue at all. Instead, Alex was trying to get us searching, to tell us to stay weird, find puzzles, unexplained happenings, and overall mystery on our own. Basically, find your own gravity falls. I really wanted there to be a Bill statue, so I kinda ended the video with it being open to the possibility of the statue being real. And finally, after three months of waiting, Alex decides to give us a tweet. Taking a closer look, you can decode the entire thing using the Caesar cipher. The urban legend has come true, Cypher's statue's calling you. The secret map is in your hand to trace the clues across the land. Don't forget, it's all for pleasure. The hunt itself is the real treasure, but a prize awaits the first one there. Be safe, be smart, and of course, beware. So finally, let's get this ball rolling. With this message, you can see that there are a couple of red letters scattered in there. If you decode them using the Caesar cipher, they translate to Russia. So we begin in Russia, particularly the place that the image is showing us, the Kazan Cathedral. At this location, Mindo Fanatic found the next hint, which translates to, Finally, the hunt can begin. So switch your rubles out for yin. Turn left when you're at the shrine's door. When you reach the statue, turn left once more. In the leftmost corner in the back is the info that you lack. A sword and a crescent mark the clue. Cypher statues calling you. And you know what that means, right? We go to Japan, where Nuke and One found the next clue in a fancy place where they worship cartoons. This hint, once decoded, translates to, Consider in your quest for truth, the hunter of the fountain of youth. 400 before his name is written, outside the gate is where it's hidden. Find what's lost to pass the test, from a shrine that's east to a shrine that's west. This leads to Atlanta, Georgia, where a lost poster for Waddles can be found. If you look really hard, there's a phone number that you can call, which I, among many others, did. Many, many times. Once you get through to the answering machine, you end up with this, but reversed. Hello, it's Crumple Sand, and I have a riddle for you. What has two legs during the day, four legs during the night, and um, it's red and white? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm no good at this riddle. It's an ochre court, all right? The next clue is an ochre court. It's, um, it's like a, like a big old building in Rhode Island. And you go up the stairs, and there's going to be a bunch of pictures of nuns on the wall. It, you got to look behind one of the nun pictures. Sister Mary Hilda Miley, real, real grouchy, that nun. Lift up the picture to find the clue behind the nun, all right? That, that's the whole thing. Don't, you know, be careful with the picture. Don't break it. I don't want you to get anyone in trouble. All right? You don't, you don't want Uncle Stan going to jail. Anyway, go to the place, put behind the knife, find the thing. Um, and, uh, uh, and always be look out for mysteries. Is that it? That's, did I do it? All right. There was also a hidden message at the bottom of the poster that decodes to Across from the stones of the springs you'll find some peculiar things. Tied to a root is a lone pink key. Dig to find what awaits thee. Not important at the moment, but the first part leads us to Oshire Court where, under Sister Mary's painting, nothing could be found. A man whose first name is his last. A statue honoring his past. Right behind him, by the sign of his park, a golden head shows light in the dark. I don't know what that means. But I don't have to go out there and figure this out. I wonder what's on TV. That makes more sense. Because this leads us to the statue of Griffith J. McGriffith in California. This is where Rumble Wheels found a mini golden Grunkle Stan head. Inside, there was a message uncovered with invisible ink that decodes to this. This led Mace Dipper... I... <laughs> Gosh, get it wrong three times. This led Jason Ritter and Ariel Hirsch all the way back to Griffith Park, where a flash drive could be found. 
On it is an audio file where Stan fights off the ghost of Sister Mary, you know, the buzzkill from earlier, and informs us that... All right, actually, considering how loud the Mario songs are in the background, I'm gonna read this one out loud to you guys. Don't want Nintendo on my case. All right, kids, this next clue is, uh, kinda tricky one. You see, this one can only be found by someone who's currently in the building that it's hidden. That's right, I'm looking for students at the California State Summer School of the Arts. Only CESA students can find the clue. Don't want anyone else going to CESA, right? You're not allowed in. Only students are allowed in. I give that impression a negative 5 out of 10. I wasn't trying to pull off a Grunkle Stan impression. I can't pull it off. He's... he's down here! But I don't think I'm getting it. But it turns out that the next clue was photographed a week prior, so looking through the paintings, you can find coordinates to Petamount Park where a treasure box was found with a pink key. Oh, that's what the riddle from earlier was for. Yep, so a cryptix was opened with the word pines that leads us to a P.O. box where Omiji found... a puzzle. So, while the people over at Emerald Knights Comics and Games, or wherever they ended up, were working on the puzzle, the internet had to scramble to find something to fill their time. There were a couple of puzzle games put together. What fun. Anyways, after what felt like years on the internet, the puzzle was finally solved. This led to Confusion Hill, where the next clue could be obtained, leading us to Stanley Street on Oregon, where a jar was found, leading to the next hint in Salem, Oregon, and now, after all that, the next hint was stolen by someone on 4chan. Well, that sucks. But we were given our final hint by Alex himself. Return to where it all began. The final piece is in your hand. The parchment can be such a tease. The answer is written in the trees. Along with this part of a paper, which seems a bit strange, but when applied to a map, we're led to Reedsport, Oregon, which is completely out of the way of any of the locations I threw out last time. But the discovery of the statue was shared with us, as well as what can be found in the buried treasure. Money, plastic coins, crowns, a mayor ribbon, a music box that plays the Gravity Falls theme song, and a note crowning the founder as the mayor of Gravity Falls. On top of all that, it tells the founders to share the wealth. So now we know that the statue is real, and we were able to see the hunt until the end. One day I might go see that statue, which is being relocated because of the Hooffields and Colts kind of situation, but I'm probably not going to be able to see it anytime soon, so for now, great job Cypher Hunt, this has been a lot of fun. And to Alex, the man who spent 8 months to set up this whole thing, I gotta say, good job. But now I'm a little curious of what you've got in store for us. This kind of felt a bit short, so perhaps it was just testing the waters for something greater? Mm -hmm. Only time will tell, but for now, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and while you're at it, check out some of my other videos. I'm just gonna sit here rambling on the uh, end card. It's probably gonna be over soon.